Here comes Corrigan in that blue 43 on the top side with a good push from Purdy. They've got, and oh. they're wrecking. Holmes is going around and upside down. St. Smith around. A big one here at Daytona. But keep in mind, this is not the finish of this race. We will see a one lap shootout to determine this one. So another restart coming. And that's Holmes on his side. Thompson also comes to a stop and multiple cars involved here on the final lap at Daytona. Look at the 23 on the bottom side of Holmes. See that you've, we've got the 18 pushing the 32 and the 32 is trying to try and help the 23 but he catches him in the right rear corner and that turns him sideways. And I think he launched off the front of the 66 of Mark Thompson. If it wouldn't have been for that incident, the outside line definitely would have had a shot at the win. And I think you, you guys might be right. The Sean Core is sh being shown on our scoring monitor in second, and he's lined up second under this red flag. So you l l look at the momentum the outside lane had before that. I'm not sure, though. It depends yeah, on. And remember, it's not instantaneous. I mean, it's not, you know, the caution flag is going to come out as soon as as yeah. soon as they they can because they know the damage is severe enough that we need a caution flag. As you, as you see Brett Holmes sliding down driver's side. That's going to be close because Core definitely had the momentum and it was on his way. From that angle, it looks like he is ahead of it does. Think Gregson. So. Yeah. yeah, sure does. And then Purdy is up there. Yeah. And Zane Smith almost was ahead of it, and he got yeah. hit on the rear quarter. Yeah, Dave Mater the third made hard contact with Zane Smith. Dave Mater was doing a nice job. We haven't talked a whole lot about him. He's a he's a former winner here in the series back in what 91. Correct. He won a race at Michigan. He was a snowball derby winner in 1978. On board with Gustine. Trying to pedal the throttle to try to get out from that situation. Riley Herb just had a few close calls tonight. Both those cars in front of him involved in the incident. Let's see how Riley gets through here. Looks like he takes a wild Whoa. ride through the, the grass. He dodged two of them. Didn't spend too much time on the grass, though. Did a great job. This is going to be a great view right here. Look at everybody going down to the grass. That's Thomas Prater, that yellow and black car that went through the grass a little bit. And then we saw Riley Herbst go through the grass.